Welcome to part two of the macrame cat. We're working on the face and we're going to start at step nine. We're going to take the cords from step nine and fold them in half. Um, they're very long. One cord will go in between eight and nine. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight. So I'm going to place it behind the eight and nine. And we'll just put the cord around them. So remember, a square knot is done in two parts. So we're going to go behind the two cords here and then make sure to cross over and then you take the other side, the left, and put it through the loop that you just created on the right and then pull that through. And this one is a lot longer string and you'll just have to keep on pulling it. And we'll tighten that into place. Then we'll do the other half. So from the left side, we'll go behind the two strings and we've created this big loop. And then we want to make sure that our right side is under so that it crossed over. Um, and that will then go into the loop going over the two strings and then tighten that up. Now we're going to do half double hitches and we're going to be doing this with our working string across each of these cords. We're going to start with our left side here and it goes over top and then to kind of control the length I'm wadded up the string into my hand and then it goes under the cord and then tighten it up and you do it twice for one single knot. And then we're going to repeat for each cord all the way to the left. Repeat for the right side as well. And now we're going to do the exact same thing with the second strand of the white cord. Now we're going to double half hitch these two white cords to the ring.
Now we're going to tie another square knot. This calls for 7 through 10. So when it calls for numbers like that, you use the outside one, so 7 and 10, and then the rest of the numbers in there become the filler. Now we're going to do alternating square knots, and to do alternating square knots, it's basically you're going to go back and forth on the knots, alternating which ones are where. So we have our first one here. We're going to take and do one off center. You take the two from it and then the two from next to it and do a square knot with that. And then you would take the other two from the first square knot and the two next to it and do a square knot with those. Now we're going to do another square knot with four center cords. At this point, we'll add in the eyes. So those are the blue beads. We're gonna put on the fifth and sixth cords, not counting the white outside cords. You might need to twist them to get the bead on to the two cords. It might even help to trim it. You can draw on the eyes at this time, or you can wait till you're finished. So now at this time, we're gonna tie more rows of alternating square knots and just following the pattern. We've got three through six. And with the alternating, we're just going to go and do that next row. And it's basically offset of the previous row, doing the square knots as usual. And now we're going to be adding the nose. Here's number eight. We're going to thread it through. Tie 
And then thread number nine through. And now we're going to do another row of alternating knots. Fluff out the face a little bit. And then we're going to do double half hitches with the tan cords down only four of the black cords on each side. And remember, double half hitches, you go over and under, and it crosses over, and then you're going to repeat that again to make one full knot. And these white cords are really long, so you can bundle it up to work with it. They're really long because they work down into the body of the cat. And then, and then we're just going to double half the hitch, hitch these, these ones onto, onto the loop, the and, loop then and then trim the black ones and tuck them behind. Leaving a few inches here. And then that's it for the face. Keep watching for part three where we'll start working on the body. Mm -hmm.